This is locating centroids, example 2. We'll be finding the x and y centroid of this shape. The shape's a little bit different from the previous one. We actually have this circle which has been removed. So we'll go through the process of calculating that. Step 1 will be to break the shape into simple segments to calculate the area, the x and y centroid for each. So I've taken the square on the left of the y-axis, the rectangle on the right, and the triangle on the right. So for this first shape, our area of the square, we'll treat the square as though the circle's not there. So this is going to be equal to 16 meters squared. Our x-bar is just uh, this distance. So that would be negative 2 meters as we're going to the left-hand side of the x-axis. And our y bar would be to the center of the square here, which is also 2 meters. Now the circle, the area is going to be pi, which would just be 3.14 meters squared. Our y bar is going to be the center of the circle, which is again 2 meters. And the x bar will also be to the center of the circle, which is negative 2 meters. Our second segment here, the area is going to be 4 times 6, which would be 24 meters squared. Our y bar will be halfway up here, so that is going to be 2 meters. And the x bar will be halfway along here, so half is 6, which is 3 meters. And lastly, our triangle. Our area here is going to be half of 16 which is 8 meters squared our y bar will now be this height which is one third from the base which is going to be equal to 1.33 meters and our x bar will be one third from the base plus 6 so that is going to equal 7.33 meters so now we've collected all this data we'll move on to the next slide and put it all in a table. So using a table such as this is great when you have um, more than one shape to deal with when breaking it up. So segment 1 will be our square on the left, so the area was 16. Our x centroid was negative 2. Our y centroid was 2. Segment 2 is going to be the circle. Now because the circle has been removed, we're going to treat the area as negative. So the area will be negative 3.14. Our x centroid is negative 2 and our y centroid is 2. Segment 3 is the rectangle just to the right of the y axis, so our area was 24 meters squared. Our x centroid was 3 meters and our y centroid was 2 meters. Segment 4 was the rectangle, I mean the triangle, so our area is going to be 8 meters squared. The x centroid was 7.33 meters and the y centroid was 1.33 meters. Now these last two columns are just multiplying the x centroid by the area and the y centroid by the area. So for segment 1 we're going to get negative 32 for our x times area and for our y times area we're going to get 32 meters cubed. Segment 2 will be negative 2 times negative 3.14 for the xa so we're going to get 6.28 and for our YA we're going to get the same but negative, so negative 6.28. For segment 3 we're going to get 3 times 24 which is 72 and 2 times 24 which is 48. And lastly for segment 4 the XA value is 58.64 and our YA is 10.64. So once we have all um, these columns filled out, we need to sum the area columns. We're going to get 44.86. We need to sum the XA and the YA columns. So the XA columns are going to get 104.92. And the YA, we're going to get 84.36. So once this table is filled out, we're going to use these values in the shaded squares to calculate the x and y centroid for the overall shape. So we're going to use the values from the previous slide here now. So our y bar is going to be equal to the sum of yA 
all over the sum of a. And now these are the values which we filled in on the previous table. So this is going to be 84.36 all over 44.86. It will give us a y bar value of 1.88 meters. So that's this height just here. So we'll do the same for x bar. That will be 104.92, again over 44.86. This will equal 2.34 meters, and that is this distance here. So now we've calculated the x and y center of the shape, and that's the end of the question.